my channel. It's Moody. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do so. As you can tell by the title, today I am coming to you guys with a full drugstore makeup tutorial. I love doing drugstore makeup tutorials. I love drugstore makeup. I'm cheapo depot. I love to save my money. So yeah, a lot of people that I know have been asking me what products they should start off with or um, what's like easy ways to do a beat face. So that's what this tutorial is about. Again, I did use all drugstore products. All of these products I got from Ulta. All of them except for like two, I believe, I got from Ulta. You can get them at Ulta, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart, places like that. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it's helpful. If so, then please give me a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to leave me some love down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this video or some other video ideas that you guys may have. And I will see you in my next one. Okay, so there are a few products that I'm using that you don't necessarily need to use um, when you're doing your makeup. For instance, I'm using like two foundations. You only need one, as well as two primers and blase, blase. But I'll let you know. Let's just get started. So I'm going to start off with my Milani Prime Shield um, Primer. This is mattifying and pore minimizing. You want to wear a primer because, well, this one in particular is going to help control your oils as well as minimize pores. Um, but your primer is also to help your makeup stay on a lot longer, help it go on a lot smoother, and just like create this flawless application. So I put this one just in my T-zone area, in the areas that I get oily and where my pores are. And next I'm going to go in with my NYX Angel Veil Primer. This one I'm going to apply everywhere so that it's like kind of blurred out and really smooth like I said earlier. But again, you don't need to wear two primers. But <laughs> I'm a little extra so we're going to put on two. So one foundation I really, really, really love is the Black Opal True Color pore perfecting liquid foundation this is what it looks like here this one is in the color hazelnut but it is a little bit too light for me or it's a little bit too like gold yeah see it doesn't really look like my shade so I'm going to mix in some of my NYX total control drops is that what it's called yeah drop foundation and you can use this um, by itself or it's used like as a foundation enhancer or to add color you know in my case and I'm gonna use this real techniques um, I think it's called the buffing brush and this is just a foundation brush so next thing I'm going to do is conceal I'm going to use the LA girl pro concealer in the color fawn I'm gonna go in with my black opal foundation stick. This is in the color Sway Mocha. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Um, it is damp. I like to run it underwater and then squeeze it out. And I'm just going to blend out this concealer by pressing it into my skin. I think it's called like a cheek brush or something. I can't remember. I'm just going to use this to buff out... So now I'm going to go on my Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder. This one is in the color Neutral Light. And I'm going to put this in all the areas that I just uh, put my concealer to set it. I don't know about y'all, but translucent powders 
do not do well for your girl. Which this particular part, I don't really let bake. I just kind of put it on and sweep it, the excess off. I really just want to keep like the lines there. Now I'm going back in with that LA Girl Pro Concealer and using it to kind of prime my eyes so that my eyeshadow shows up a little bit better. I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl Queen Collection Bronzer in the color Ebony Bronze. I mean, I am going to use this to bronze, but right now I'm going to use it for eyeshadow using this brush from Real Techniques. Not sure what it's called, but it's an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to put it um, where your crease, right above where my crease is, or in my crease area, kind of buff it out right there. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Revolution Fortune Favors the Brave palette. I don't want to blind y'all. Let's go with this rose gold looking shade. Now I'm going to take this like angle brush, this black shade over here, and I'm going to just smoke it along my lash line. Now I'm going to coat my lashes with the Maybelline Mascara. This is the last sensational mascara in like black okay so I have my lashes on yes I did them off camera now I'm gonna take this elf mineral powder brush and use this to sweep away um, all the baking powder I'm gonna go in with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Ebony Bronzer that we used for our eye and I'm gonna use this to set my cream contour so now I'm going to highlight and I'm going to use two highlighters you don't have to use two highlighters, but I want to. My first one is going to be the Makeup Revolution Vivid Bait Bronzer. It's called Rock On World. Look at how pretty that is. I'm really putting, the, I'm just gonna use this as a blush today. So now I'm gonna go in with Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. This one is in the shade Gold Addict. Ooh, nice. Put this at the high points of my cheeks. And we're gonna kinda bring it around a little bit. And with the highlighter, you can kind of brush it underneath your brow bone just to give you that extra little shine there. Now I'm going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Gloss Bare Nude, it's the color. Mm -mm. The NYX lingerie in the color corset. This is not what I wanted it to be. And then lastly, I'm going to spray my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Extender. Makeup Extender Setting Spray. 